In this video, I want to talk about the pangram problem. So the first question is, what is a pangram? It turns out that it's a sentence that uses every letter of a given alphabet once. So for English, you've probably heard the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And I'm going to use a similar one, the five boxing wizards jump quickly. So what our program is going to do and what this question is going to ask you is, uh, given a pangram, or given a sentence, can you tell if it's a pangram or not? And what we're going to do is think about how to do that first. So obviously there are 26 letters in the alphabet, and what we want to do is make sure we can count that at least uh, each of those has been used once at least. So there are two data structures that come to mind immediately that account for uniqueness, and those are sets and maps. So I would suggest starting with a set, think about how you can use a set, that'll probably be the simplest way. And later I'll show you a way to use this with uh, the uh, taking advantage of character codes. So let's think about this as a set perspective. If we can add all of these characters into a set and check out the size of the set as 26 and remove all the spaces, we can probably figure out if it's a pangram or not. So let's start doing that. I'm just going to create a new hash set here. And what we're first going to do is have to transform these characters a bit. Um, if you think about the pangram, a capital T is going to look different from a lowercase t. So we need to account for that. So what we're going to do is make everything lowercase. Secondly, we need to remove the space characters and any other punctuation. We're going to do that with replace all, and I'm going to use some regex that's going to use that's well. It's going to look for space, or period, or comma, or exclamation mark. So anything within these brackets, it's going to or on, and we're going to replace it with nothing. So let's run this and just make sure it worked correctly. I'm just going to run this as an application when I'm on the main method. That looks correct to me. We'll comment that out. So next, we're going to have to add all of the characters into the array. So we can do that with a loop simply like this. Two care array. Then we'll say cars dot add c. Now all of the characters from that string should be in the set. And lastly, we just check the size. Looks good. Let's run that. So it is a pangram. Let's change this a little bit. Um, let's remove the queue. Cool. Looks good. So that's how you figure out if a word is a pangram, or sorry, a sentence is a pangram or not, just using a set.